Good evening. It's Wednesday, September 25, 2019 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in News Bits tonight. The brother of slain drug lord Tata Negro was shot and torched along with his house in Barangay Babag Uno in Cebu City early today. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Charred remains of a man was found inside a burnt house in Sitio Pilit, Barangay Babag Uno in Cebu City earlier this morning. Police identified the victim as Kari Liagono, alias Tangkag, brother of slain suspected drug lord Crisostomo Liagono, alias Tata Negro. Tata Negro was killed in May 2010. According to the father of Tangkag's live-in partner, around 30 unidentified armed men arrived in the area past 3 in the morning. He said they were asked to go out from the house, leaving Tangkag inside. After a few minutes, they heard six gunshots and the armed men burned the house. Before leaving, the gunmen took around 30 fighting cocks owned by Tangkag. Police Captain Dexter Basergo, Chief of Mabolo Police Station said they are looking into personal grudge and the victim's alleged involvement in illegal drugs as motives in the crime. Basergo said Tangkag submitted himself before the City Intelligence Branch in Cebu City Police Office to clear himself after he was tagged as involved in the illegal drug trade. But the police chief said Tangkag was not in their list. Investigation on the crime is still ongoing. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. The Mactan Cebu Bridge Management Board has cancelled the planned curfew, one-way pedestrian lane, and bicycle ban on the two bridges connecting Mandawi City and Mactan Island. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. There will be no curfew on both Mactan Mandawi and Marcelo Fernand Bridge that are connecting the cities of Mandawi and Lapu-Lapu in Cebu. This came after the Mactan Cebu Bridge Management Board or MCBMB cancelled the planned restrictions on both bridges. Aside from 1 to 5 a.m. curfew on foot traffic for two bridges, the prohibitions include the closure of one of the two pedestrian lanes on each of the two bridges and the ban of bicycles. These were the bridge board's initiatives to put an end on the series of suicide cases on the bridges. The cancellation of the restrictions was discussed during a special board meeting of MCBMB upon the appeal made by Mayor Junard Chan. On the bicycle ban, the bridge board agreed to allow bicycles on both bridges provided the owners will walk beside it and not onboard the bicycle to avoid accidents. The mayor assured the board to deploy policemen, traffic enforcers, and village watchmen on bridges 24-7. Chan disclosed that the Land Transportation Office also planned to authorize traffic personnel and policemen to issue citation tickets to violators of the bicycle regulation. To recall, Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, who chairs the MCBMB, put the planned prohibition under review following the unfavorable response from the public. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. More stories in Newsbits Tonight after this short break. The Central Visayas Pork Producers Cooperative has called on the public to support local pork as it confirmed the decrease in sales after the outbreak of African swine fever in Luzon. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Following the African swine fever outbreak in Luzon, the Central Visayas Pork Producers Cooperative called on the public to support local pork as it confirmed a 20% decrease in sales. CVEPCO President Rolando Tambago said the drop in their pork meat sales started three weeks ago after the reported ASF outbreak in Bulacan and Rizal areas. The group assured that it has ample supply and that local pork in the region remains 
remains ASF free. The Cebu Provincial Government has implemented a 100-day total ban on the entry of live hogs, pork, pork-related products and byproducts, and boar semen from Luzon. Tambago said the time Luzon pork products were pulled out from the market, stocks in the shelves were replenished in just two days. The Philippine Association of Meat Importers Incorporated earlier appealed for the lifting of the ban. But Tambago said they want to protect the local hog industry as hundreds of thousands of families in Central Visayas rely on this livelihood. The Department of Agriculture, Central Visayas and other stakeholders have already prohibited is will feeding of hogs as a preventive measure against ASF. The Hotels, Resort and Restaurant Association of Cebu has also imposed strict compliance on the disposal of their food left over. Charlie Coronel, News Beats Tonight. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. The University of Cebu Baby Webmasters bested the University of San Jose Reculetos Baby Jaguars 73-51 in the 2019 Sisafi High School Basketball Tournament yesterday at Cebu Coliseum. The Webmasters did not give the Jaguars any room to breathe from the get-go, establishing a 21-12 lead before going up 37-25 at halftime. In the third period, the Webmasters kicked off with 14-4 after Daniel Lapis, King Balaga, and Ray in Enriquez scored points to raise their lead to 22-51-29. Balaga led the Webmasters with 17 points while guard Kenyon Pondok scored 10 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists and a steal. Meanwhile, Kevin Gibao tallied 22 points for Jaguars. The reigning champion Webmasters handed Jaguars their third loss in a row, leading by as much as 26 points, 60-34. After winning the title in the preseason Partners Cup, Jaguars remained winless, holding 0-3 win-loss record, while Webmasters are still undefeated in this tournament. Kenneth Torres, News Bits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.